Well, hello. hello. So, I have a Ren Fair fast approaching. At the time of filming this, it is on Saturday, and it is now Monday today, but not when you're watching this, because editing and all that stuff. I am starting a new series on this channel where we are making Ren Fair fantasy core themed crafts. Now, this is different than like the Hobbit door and the fairy cabinet. These are specifically accessories that you can use with your fantasy outfits for Ren Fairs, LARPs, cosplay plays, whatever you want to use it for. So I have a whole bunch of different crafts planned. However, this time around, we only have time and resources for two. So this week, I am going to be painting some elf ears and I'm also going to be making skirt hikes. And I make my skirt hikes with recycled belts that I thrift. Usually I will thrift them at the bins because that is where it is the most cost effective. However, if I'm in a pinch, I will thrift from like the men's belt section at Goodwill or another charity shop. They're like four dollars there so i try not to do that but again i've been in a in a pickle where i need them because i've i also sometimes will make sheaths and different strappy bits for our cosplays and i just need to bite the bullet and, and buy it although the one of the belts that you guys you guys you guys are going to see today i actually thrifted at the bins and it's like my favorite type of belt like the real leather soft worn super old and that's what I go for. I don't like new belts because they're more rigid and they're harder to work with. So this may not be a super interesting video. We have some much more exciting crafts coming up. However, I have had a lot of interest in the skirt hikes. A lot of people asking me about it, asking for a tutorial. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. I am not a professional leather worker. I figured this out just flying by the seat of my pants and buying stuff off Amazon. So I probably don't do things the correct way that you're supposed to do them. This is just the way that I do them. And if anyone is a professional and is watching this, keep that in mind. Do not roast me. I mean, unless you just want to give me constructive critique and give me tips on how to do it easier. That would be great, but yeah.
to self. Do not use Mod Podge. So these are them. Pretty basic to make, you just need the right tools. And I'll be listing the tools that I use in the description. It's gonna be in my Amazon storefront so I can get that Bezos paycheck. So I know I'm gonna get asked, so I'm gonna give you guys a brief demo on how to use a skirt hike. First, you're gonna need a belt. I use a belt like this. It's just like a basic leather belt. I thrifted it. That's always the best. Sorry, I'm just trying to put it on properly. And then you're gonna take your skirt hike and just take the loop and feed it through and stick it onto your belt. And don't get your mic cord in the way. Then you're gonna take a piece of fabric. You kinda gotta 
gauge it for the thickness and the length of the skirt depending on how you want it to look. I usually choose the middle of my thigh and I just take it like that and then lift it up. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed this through both loops like that. And then you're gonna take it and feed it through the bottom loop and then just tug it tight like that. And then you can kind of just zhuzh the fabric. If you don't like how it looks, if it's bunching weird, just take it out and try again. Depending on the skirt, you, you'll have to do it slightly different each for each skirt. And sometimes if you, like if you don't want all of your skirt, let's say you don't want the lining, you can just grab the top part, which depending on the length of the lining, it might be best to do it that way. So you, you're not like putting a ton of fabric in there. And you just kind of like fuss with it until it looks the way that you like. This actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go with that. And then if you wanna like a total saloon girl look, you can put two skirt hikes, one on each side and kind of do that little number. Um, I have two skirt hikes, but I can never find them. So I'm not gonna do that. This is one that I am going to have for sale and I don't know when this video is going up. So they're potentially sold out, but if not, Link will be in the description. I'm thinking with the extra bit, I may try to make a little strap for my mug. I don't remember how they usually snap them down. I may have to get snaps, which I, I don't have. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna check my stash. Always check your stash before you order. So I, I think this would be really cool to have because I'm always just tying it with ribbon and it comes undone sometimes. So having an actual like strap for my mug when I'm at the rent fair would be very, very nice. What are what do we have to look forward to in the future when it comes to these crafts? Well, I want to make fairy wings. I want to make a fairy flower hat inspired by this kind of flower. Like, you know, those like upside down flat, like that. I want to make one of those. Ooh. Ah. I also have a shoe, a couple shoes that I'm gonna be DIYing, but I'm still trying to get more materials for that. So that's on the schedule. And I also just wanna play with felt and make things out of like, make leaves and cool things. So yeah, those are some things that we are hopefully going to be making in the future. So definitely follow along with this series. So yeah, that about wraps up episode one of crafting Renfair accessories. If you like this video, make sure you guys hit like on the video. Also, if you're not subscribed, hi, hello, why don't you subscribe? We also do thrifting content here. Eventually we will be getting to thrift flips. And I also vlog when I go to run fairs, which I will be doing this weekend. So if you like that kind of stuff, if you're nerdy, if you're thrifty, if you're whimsical, join the fun. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know down below if you have any ideas for future crafts. I already have a butt ton of ideas, so I don't really need that many, but I love the engagement. I love to say hello to you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.